Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Richard Schwartz and Patrick Wooten of Richard Schwartz and Associates Injury Lawyers. Today we're talking all about full coverage insurance. Welcome to the show both of you. Thank nice you. to see Great you to see again. You. Who wants to answer that question first? What does it actually mean and do we all have it? That is such a good question. There is no such thing as full coverage insurance, but it's one of those urban legends that we could probably survey 20 people and say, what insurance do you have? And they're going to say full coverage. Insurance is like a cafeteria plan, liability coverage, uninsured motorist, medical payment. So it's really important that people look at their declarations page because so many people think they have X, Y, and Z and they really only have X. So you're saying it's all on the declaration. I was about to say to you, I, I don't even know what's in my insurance. <laughs> yeah. I'm being honest with you. You know, and I think I seem to know what's going on in my life. Mm -hmm. But I also know that you skip things. So where does one look on their insurance policy? The disclosure page. Yeah, Is that the, correct? The declaration page. Which declaration. You, declaration page, which will list what insurance coverage you have, how much you have, and it's going to also show you what you're paying for that particular coverage. I want to ask you, what, what car insurance policy is needed in the state of Mississippi? Well, you know, there's so many uninsured drivers. I think five, uh, one out of five mm -hmm. has insurance in the state of Mississippi. So you have to protect yourself with what's called uninsured motorist coverage. Uninsured motorist coverage is so important in the state of Mississippi that you have to sign a knowing waiver to waive your rights away from uninsured motorist coverage. Well, hold on, let's get back. I'm a little bit, I just want to make sure we have yeah. the yeah. audience clear on that. You don't have to have insurance in the state of Mississippi? No, you do not. Okay. You, know, you have to have you're, you're required to, but you, the reality is you don't. But what were you about to say? I was going to say, you're required to have liability coverage right. so that if I ran into you, my insurance company could be there to compensate you. But that's the only coverage you're required to have. But so I want to say in Australia, it's part of your registration. It happens automatically. Yeah. Okay, you may not have, yeah. you know, it's called third party insurance. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's part of your registration fee. If we have this liability insurance, mm -hmm. that's something we have to take out on top of, correct? No, when you buy a policy, yes. it, you can, it, it's like a puzzle. You can buy rental car coverage, which costs so much, uninsured motors, which costs so much, liability, you got medic pay, you got comprehensive coverage for your auto. All of those are, are costs extra. And so you get to pick what you want to pick. Interesting. Can I add or change anything to my insurance policies along the way? That's a great point. Anytime. Because we, I think Progressive is just month to month if you wanted it to be. No, but you could call today and you could be like, gosh, I don't have uninsured motorist coverage and want to add that. Or, you know, I want to raise the coverage. So that's the great thing. You can change it anytime by calling your local agent or calling the toll free number, getting online, you know, and you can immediately change your policy so that it would be effective the day you're making that change. Can I ask you both a question? How do I know I've got enough? Well, like, I, can, yeah. I just, I'm I, sitting here listening to you and I'm yeah. thinking, should I be stacking my insurance policies well, to make sure I have enough? You, you know, the minimum in Mississippi is what's called a 2550, 25,000 per person, 50,000 mm -hmm. per incident. That means if you have three or more people, they'll, they can pay up to 50,000. The reality is you can go to the emergency room and run up a bill of $25,000 mm -hmm. very uh, hello. easily. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So you really need to look at your policies. It's not that much more to increase how much you have. And I'd say, I'd say if you could get 100000 in coverage, then you can get an umbrella very, very cheap. So you need to really consider going up to $100,000 for uninsured motorist and liability and consider an umbrella. Is that what you considered stacking? Yeah, I mean, stacking is, it deals with uninsured motors, but also making sure you're looking at your policy as a whole and stacking on top of it. Because right. you're buying insurance to protect yourself and to protect others. So make sure you have that peace of you mind. You guys always give great information. Well, uninsured motors, is real, one thing I want to say real quick okay. is that it protects you or a family member that's involved in the accident when the other car has no insurance or enough yeah. insurance and you can stack all the ca cars in the household. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. Richard Schwartz and Patrick Wooden of Richard Schwartz and Associate Injury Lawyers, back after this short break.